How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on the next build part to the mud mower and Ethan's going to be getting his his mud mower going. He just picked this up the other day and uh, we got to get it got to get it finished. So I'm going to focus on getting the uh, bumpers done, both front and rear bumpers done today. This is the material I have to work with, some channeled steel. I don't know which one I want to go with quite yet. There's a smaller stuff, which is actually quite a bit lighter. And then you got this, which I want something heavier because at least for the front anyways, because I need to weigh the front down so that way it's not so wheely happy when I try to tow something. If I get that thicker stuff on there, I could probably put some rods in here with the cotter pins on the end and I could add weights to it to weight the front of it down. It would also give me more traction because turning with a welded rear end is a little bit tougher. So that's going to be a goal to be able to add the weights. I don't know if I'll get that done today, but get the bumper done, add the D-rings to it, maybe even paint it up. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to go about 30 inches. That'll give me a good, give me close to, close to a foot on each side. So I, I don't need it to go all the way out past the tire. It'll give something that people can push on and not turn the hell out of my toolbox. And then I'm also going to add this guy right here. I'll be able to take that and I want to cut it and weld it inside the bumper. So that way I can hook up and move around a trailer or anything like that. Little, little utility trailer I can move around the yard. Clean cut right there, son. So we're going to pick up some of them D-rings for tractor supply. So it's getting kind of dark and now the lighting isn't the best. I leveled out the bumper on the hitch 14 inches from the edge of the hitch here to the edge of the bumper and the same for there as well. So I'm going to tack this in so I don't lose that position and then I'm going to work on positioning from the frame here to the bumper. It's at three inches right now but I'm probably going to move it back four because I can go about another inch. So I just got to weld all around here, all in here, just got to sturdy it all up. Alright guys, so it is the next day here and I want to finish up this rear bumper and then get working on the front one. So what I need to do now is I need to level everything out. I need to make sure all my adjustments between here, here, you know, obviously the gap between here. Everything lines up. I know that the gap between here and the edge on each side lines up because I did that ahead of time. The one thing is, I was thinking about this last night, the motor actually doesn't sit level, as you can see, because I have the smaller tires in the front. I'm gonna be getting 18 inch tires for the front, and then I'm gonna be getting another set of 24s for the rear, so that'll actually level the machine out. So because I'm gonna have it level eventually, I wanna level out right now. If I have it level here, as it sits for the rear, the bumper will actually be off a little bit. And you can actually see I leveled it, and then I thought about it. It's actually tweaked a little bit. And the reason for that is because the mower doesn't sit straight. The level may say it's straight in the back right now, but it actually isn't. So I need to jack up the front of the mower. And that's level. And that's actually, that actually does look level. Because it's about, I don't know, roughly two inches right there. And that's about how much lower it is because of the tires. The 18s will come right down and fill it up, so it'll, it'll lift it up that much more. That's two and a half. That's two and a quarter. And three quarters. Everything is level. Good. 
I got a smaller hitch. This one actually set a little bit lower, but even setting up high like that's not bad at all. The job all done there. So we just gotta finish up the front bumper and then we'll be good. So I'm sure you guys don't wanna sit here and see me weld something up again. I'm gonna have the bumper magically appear. And just like that, it's all done. I put some D-rings on it. And I even went ahead and painted the front bumper. And I painted the rear bumper. I tell you what, paint really, really touches up anything, everything. Looks good. Now I'm gonna put some D-rings on the back as well. But for now, I just wanted to do it to the front. Kind of balling on a budget here, but I made it work. Didn't have any kind of hooks or anything that I could use for the D-ring. So I took and I welded it on and I bent it over into the, the, you know, the hole that you'd bolt it through. And then I welded it right there. And as you can see, it worked perfectly fine on both sides. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And I'm also happy with how the rear came out. All right, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, of course, and I will catch you guys in the next video.